Really? No, don't fold. Why are you folding? You are a person. You are not made of paper. You are not meant to fold. Today, we're gonna check out episode 10 of The Glory. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, consider liking, commenting, maybe even subscribing to the channel for more reactions, more K-dramas, and more other non-anime reactions. Because, you know, I have to say non-anime since I do mostly anime reactions over on my anime reaction channel. If, you, if you're interested at all in anime, you could click the link. Link's also in the description. Go check that, that channel out. Maybe you'll find something that you like over there if you like anime if you don't like anime you're you're not gonna find something you like <laughs> honestly i'm just gonna be real with you and you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on patreon mm. oh she's aware dude she's very much aware this is the fitting room this is the fitting room, bro? I thought this was like a private office or something. This is the fitting room. That is insane. What a, f dude, I'm used to fitting rooms being like a tiny little stall. You just like barely have enough room to change your clothes in. I obviously never been to anything high end in my life. <laughs> wow. That couch, he's like, that's where they be fucking. They fuck on the couch. And there's Youngjin. Real. How did you? So she gets the one photo, hands it off to her people? Oh, the cars. All these pictures. Oh, shit. Ooh, ooh, good. You think she's afraid? Miss Kang doesn't give a fuck? That's my... That's my girl. Oh, you want to name my fucking child? Hey, name her child back at her. I know your daughter's name too. I'll find her and I will get her. Say her name. Hey, say her daughter's name back at her. Say her daughter's name back at her. Say her daughter's name back at her. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, let me. Hey, I know your daughter's name too. You think I don't know nothing about your daughter? Really? No, don't fold. Why are you folding? You are a person. You are not made of paper. You are not meant to fold. Come on. I would have, A, hey, double down, double or nothing. Listen, you name my daughter? Hey, who do you think I've been following? I know your daughter. I know your daughter's real father. You want me to tell your daughter who her real father is? You put, you hurt a, a, ha a hair on my daughter's head. I swear to God, I'll rip every hair out of your fucking daughter's head. I will, I, I will do what you do to my daughter times 10. You think I won't stop? You think that if I lose the one thing I care about, I won't take everything from you? I'll even, t I'll t after I take everything from you, I'll take your looks from you. I will leave you alive without your looks, without your daughter, without your marriage, without your money, without your home, without your cars, without your job. I will take it all. Try me. I, mm. I'm, I'm a, listen, dude, I, don't ever do something bad to me because I am always one step from losing my shit. All right. You know those pictures of people that park really, 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 really close to stuff? And it's always like, this is how close I am to losing my shit. That's me. That's me. Go too far and I'll st I'll take it a step further. Just right there. I'm right there. The only thing keeping me from losing my shit is the fact that I know losing my shit means everything goes away for me. But if I'm her and I know that you took everything from me, oh, I will take everything and more from you. But I would, I, I, I honestly, you, you mess with the things that I love, the people that I love. I would never kill the person that does that to me. No, let them live. Let them live without everything that they love. Do it right back and, and, and go a step further. 
I, I actually sound crazy. I, was, <laughs> I, I might sound a little crazy. No! I'm much more shameless than you. Do not allow, do not allow this! Bro, I would fucking... Oh my... God. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Wow, this, this is pissing me off. Mm. I'm getting so mad, dude. I'm trying everything I can not to grind my teeth in anger. I saw that one coming. Come on, obviously, dude. That's what is the what is the play? It's it's like you can you can threaten her, blah 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 blah. Uh, she'll just bring that shit up. She'll be like, hey, Dong Un, like this is this is what she's saying to me. But now, if you maybe win her over, that's the move. <laughs> And she's probably going to be like, and what will happen to me and my daughter? And then that's where she wins. That's where she has a better offer. Because right now, the offer from Dong Un does not include... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. There's no way Miss Kang flipped. There's no way she flipped. She got to her. Oh, she has no way of knowing. She's like, what the f is going on? You got a car? You know how to drive? This is new to me. Since when? So she's taking her daughter somewhere, right? Where are you taking the daughter? I don't like her not looking at the road. Whenever, dude, every time she doesn't look at the road, I think, you, you know how many shows and movies I've seen where they look over at their passenger and then boom, the car T-bones them? A car would just come this way and just poof, smash into her. I'm worried about it. I don't. I don't want that to happen to her. But I could see it. Yeah, she is. She's like, my daughter thinks I'm fucking cool. Yeah, dude. Look at her face. She's so happy about this. Or she's about to smile. Watch. Yeah, there she is. Pay attention to the road. Pay attention to the road. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, this fucking guy, dude. I hate this fucking guy. Oh, I hate this guy. Oh, I hate him so much, bro. Him and his ugly ass haircut. Fuck no. I have objections, yeah. No. Don't you kill that poor dog. He all of the all of the rich assholes in this show, I would not be surprised if they just kill dogs. Oh, I hate the rich assholes in the show. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm still gonna even though like there there are moments where I'm like, ah oh, man, I kinda I kinda feel bad for the flight attendant lady. I feel a little bad for her, right? Because she they even said it themselves. Like she was literally one step from being the one that gets bullied. The only reason she wasn't the one that gets bullied is because there was there was a a barrier of someone lower than her that kept her from getting bullied. But she still gets treated like shit by all of them. And so in the end, I feel a little bad for her, but not as bad as I do for Dong Un. So when Dong Un says what she says and does what she does, even if it is to the flight attendant, I'm like, you brought it on yourself, really. So eh, can't feel too bad for you. Oh my god. Oh my 
God, why do you exist? Oh, what did she do? No! God, I hate Yeonjin so much! Alright, dude, I- Oh my god, I hate her so much. Her pretentious fucking face every time I see her just makes me so mad. Oh, no, but she drops off the fucking groceries for you. She gives things to you. You just don't know it's from her. Come on, man. Punch her in the fuck. Hey, dude, she could have done us all a service. She could have, she could, hey, she could have been the hero of this story. If in this moment, she put that chopstick through Yeonjin's fucking eyeball. She would have been the hero. I would have forgave her of everything. For everything, signing the paper, all that stuff. I would have forgiven her right now. Right now. No. Don't do it. Be better than that. She looks so crazy too. Don't let her in there, bro. Bro, that's your building. She vandalized and he put hands on her. Oh my God. There's not enough violence. It's crazy. I want to say this. There's not enough violence in this show. That's kind of quite, that's kind of wild after everything that dong has been through. But there's not enough violence on everyone else. Why is dong the only one that's ever gone through the violence? What about everybody else? They deserve, they deserve something. Yes! Yes! Okay, I'm, I'm here for it. Let's go, landlady. Okay, building owner. I like it. Good. Yeah, get her ass out of there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. Okay, I like that. I I'm here for that. Yo, can you tell her everything you've been doing for her? How can you even stand to live when you treated your daughter the way you did? Oh god, I fucking hate her. Tell her about all the things you've been doing for her! You're the one that drops off the things for her! Come on, tell her, please! God, I hate Yeonjin so much. I hate her so much. She, is this the plastic surgery place? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, hey, you look like you could use some work. Hey, how about you? Two for one. <laughs> you could use some work. Oh my gosh. Oh, and she, that's the one thing. Oh, dude, the go is the one thing that she like does not like about her husband. And he's playing it with the girl that wants to end her everything, dude. Oh, that is, oh. Damn. Damn, she's such a bitch. Oh my God. Oh, okay, dude. That's a, you are going far with that lie, bro. She, hey, that is a dangerous lie to, to say. Oh. Oh. 
Yo, hey, you getting mad disrespectful. <laughs> Has he lured her in? Bro. Oops. Oh, oh, I did such a bad job with the plastic surgery. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's the dude from the car, right? From the car accident, I mean? Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh. Damn. Hey, he's beating the shit out of this guy. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, she didn't flip? Wait, is Miss Kang still with it? Hey, yo, if Miss Kang didn't flip, oh. She's my, uh, she's my favorite, bro. Oh, this was planned. Oh, yo, that's wild. She thought that all of this stuff would happen. Like, oh, flipping out the person, all that. Didn't want the camera to. Oh, my God. Wow. Did you bring her food? There's no way you brought her food. Oh, okay. Oh, I love it. Yes, her best friend, best friend, best friend. I was so happy about it, dude. I was so happy about it. Oh, I need to pause this. Stop. Okay, I gotta fix my camera, man. Oh, I'm so happy about it. Oh, that makes me so happy, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so great. Okay. It's the nurse! Oh my god! <laughs> Right? That's the nurse? Wait, am I tripping? I think so. I'm I'm pretty sure. Makes me so happy. You could use a little work, right? Look, look take a look. Where where could you use use some work? You know? Mm -hmm. Oh, he, oh, wait, did he actually, I don't remember. He actually did give her something, right? He gave her that purse. Oh, shit. So when she says that she got the purse from him. Oh, oh my God, dude. He just punched something or kicked something. You're going to break a hand. Watch out. When I was younger, when I'd get mad, I would punch things, walls, uh, obviously, not people, walls. And I really fucked up my hand one time. This this bone here, I really fucked it up one time. And I live in America, so if you don't have health insurance, uh, you don't go to the hospital. You, you figure it out, <laughs> you know? That's essentially what I did. I figured it out. I wrapped my shit up. I just didn't fuck with it. I had like... um. Some like I I had like uh something I got from I don't know some sort of drugstore or something to to like as like um uh, like a hard cast thing, and thankfully it, it kind of healed, it, it healed up. I don't have any issues like any remaining issues from it. But ever since that day, ever since that one punch, I don't punch things anymore. When I get mad, really mad, I just do this. I just get really I just get really mad. I'm just like oh my god, I'm so angry. Except now that I think about it, I do hit this chair. 
I hit this, this, uh, this part of my chair. I'll hit this sometimes. That's about the only thing that I hit or like punch it, punch a pillow. That's safe too. Don't punch things guys. It's dangerous. You could hurt something. Okay. Don't be dumb. A little advice for you all. Oh my gosh. Ooh, you lost your husband. This day confirms she lost her husband. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit is in 360p, bro. Oh, is the 19th when he went missing? Wait. Did he do that on purpose? Wait, 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 did he try to look suspicious on purpose? Yo, is, is my man's here putting stuff together too? Is everybody solving the mysteries? Hmm, I used to be a main, mean girl back in my days. Oh, she's kind of like getting some life advice right now. Filler? As in what? Like lip filler? Or? Oh, he was going to put her under anesthesia and never, never wake up. Oh. Ooh, there's no way you heard all of it. Ooh, she got the tea. Oh, she's showing off the burns. Oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh my God. Oh, and you're just going to fall asleep right now. There's no way he's killing her right now. I refuse to believe that she's getting killed right now. I refuse to believe it. So it was here. Oh my God. 1115 is when he called, right? Oh shit, really? Oh wow. I kind of like him as much as I hate him in his younger days. I kind of like him just in these moments where he's like being petty and like acting like this towards Young Jin. Like I like these moments of him. I don't really like him. He's an asshole. But in these moments, it's like kind of sad. Anytime anybody acts like this towards the assholes, like, ah, oh, it's just great, dude. Even if it's the assholes themselves acting that way towards each other. It's fine, bro. That was an iPhone, right? What was it? What kind of phone was that? Dude, it's water resistant. It'll be fine, bro. You could splash it with this fucking liquor. It's like, oh, okay, cool. As long as you don't dump, if she would have dropped it in a, like a, 
thing of water, left it there, then it'd be fucked. But this is, it's, it's fine. It'll be okay. All right, I got something harder for you. I got, I, you want me to try harder? I'll try harder. Okay. How about the girl you killed in high school? Uh, uh, you told I don't even know who that is. What do you mean? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, and this is how he gets killed. Psych got him. Bro, you know she's killed before. You don't think she'll kill you too? Oh my god. Oh. Dude, he is pushing it. Hey, it's no wonder that this motherfucker died, bro. It's no wonder. Oh, damn. Oof. Oh, damn. <laughs> I've, he's going to play it off. Like, what are you talking about? Right? And it's just her, like, falling asleep because of the anesthesia that made her think this stuff. But he said it. Right? That's the end of the episode. Oh, God. I love the glory so much. <laughs> oh, it's so good, dude. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. What can I say? That's such a good, such a good show, dude. This, hey, this might genuinely be the best show I watch all year. I think so. It could be. And this didn't even come out this year. But I think it might be the best show that I watch all year. This has been phenomenal to this point. Phenomenal. Uh, I love it. God, just everything. So many big moments. Oh man, Miss Kang is gonna play double agent? What? That's crazy. They're already moving forward with the plan to have her daughter go to America. She's now staying with um, the uh, the nurse, you know, from, 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 from back when dong -un was in high school. We actually see how things played out with Yeonjin and Myeonggo. That's great. Love that. Dude, Yeonjin stays making us hate her. There is never a moment where we don't absolutely hate her. She, oh my God. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Phenomenal writing for her character. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna look at an actor or an actress and be like, oh, I hate you. Okay, relax. They're playing a character. The character is written to be such a piece of shit and she plays it so well. She's so good at it. Phenomenal job in the acting. The fact that, as far as the writing goes for her character, she gets dong -un's mom to do these fucked up things to get her and dong -un's mom, dude. Oh my God, there's nothing about her that is redeemable. I am waiting for dong -un to tell her like, hey, you remember all those groceries you've been getting over the years? All these people, it's, it's almost like somebody was taking care of you, huh? Who do you think? And now I don't know if this is something she's actually done multiple times. I know there was the one time when she left the bag full of like, um, I think there was like toilet paper and maybe some groceries in it. I don't really remember exactly, but she left bags there for the mom to get. I imagine it wasn't the only time she's done it. I imagine she's done it before. And the fact that they managed to get the surgeon, the plastic surgeon. Oh, dude, there's so many good things. There's so many things I want to talk about. They managed to get uh, Yeonjin in the plastic surgeon's uh, business. And then through just a little small talk, get her convinced of getting the plastic surgery showing up here. She does it because what? She wants to make her husband love her because all this shit is going on with her husband, right? She thinks, oh, I could do this little thing. And then 
he'll think I'm more beautiful and then he and then he maybe he'll forgive me. Things are way beyond that. Way beyond that. Whatever. So they get her in there, and I love the things he says. He didn't kill her with the bubble. That's eh, the goal's not to kill her. The goal is to make her life miserable. Like uh like Dongun's life has been to this point. Misery. She has dedicated her life to this. Now that Yeonjin's maybe in her prime, if you will. I don't know, 35, maybe it's past her prime. Depends on what your prime is. I in terms of like physical fitness, beauty, maybe your prime is, I don't know, your early 20s to maybe about her age, 35, somewhere in that range. That's your that's your physical beauty prime. But life, your life prime? Oh, 30? No, 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 no. Your life prime is like 35 to, to 45, dude. That's your life prime, right? Because that's when you've been at your job for X amount of years. You get your promotions. All the good things are going well. You've got your kids. Your kid, blah, 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 blah. Her life is going so well. This is the part of her life that she's been looking forward to. It wasn't going to school. It wasn't starting up. It wasn't like all the little things. It's This is the prime of her life for her. It's not about the beauty part. It's like the actual enjoyment of her life. And this is when everything's going to go to shit. She's going to have nothing. No kid, no husband, no money to fall back on. No, no notoriety, no fame, no none of this. I hope that plastic surgery happens to her and she looks ugly as fuck. I hope that that happens to her. By the end of the series, obviously not now. Like we, we need, there's, there's steps. We got to get there, you know? Um, but I love the fact that he puts her through that. Dude, her husband seeing the scars on Dongun. Oh, bro. What a moment. What a moment. There's a lot of moments between the two of them. There are so many moments. Dude, I think that just everyone does such a phenomenal job acting. There's not a single person that I feel has done a bad job acting. And I don't know if that's, I mean, obviously it's credit to the actors, but also I feel like there's credit to the directors, right? Or the director rather, um, or maybe multiple directors. I don't know if they have episode directors, but the person that gets the right acting out of them, so much credit goes to them. This has just been phenomenal every moment. I just absolutely love it. There's never a down moment, never a dull moment. Oh, I love it so much. So good. And I hate that ugly ass teacher that works at uh, Dongun school. I hate him. I want him gone. I don't know who he is, what he is, what he does. Eventually he's gonna try and blackmail our girl and then everything's gonna go south for him. Good, fuck him. I can't wait for it. He's such a dickhead. He's just another bully. Anyways, whatever. With all that said, I'd love to know what you all thought about this episode down in the comments below.